Hi again. I am Lisa Larson Kelly, a teacher, speaker, and the founder of LearnFromLisa.com. If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm a huge fan of Canva. It's a free, powerful design tool made for non-designers. Well, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about Canva's new premium product, Canva for Work. What's it for? How's it different from the free version? And is it worth it to pay to upgrade? In this short video, I'll try to answer all those questions for you. So here I am, logged into my Canva account. I can switch over to my Canva for Work account right up here in the drop-down menu. As you can see, it looks pretty much like the free Canva interface. In the free version of Canva, you can create a wide variety of design formats for web and for print, with tons of templates that you can use to make beautiful designs. And Canva for Work has the same formats and templates available, but it has one big difference. You can create your own templates customized for your brand. So you don't have to create your branded graphics from scratch each time, as you do in the free version. Now this is an incredible time saver for companies that produce a lot of graphics. Or even if you're an entrepreneur that does a lot on social media and you want everything to look consistent. So here's where the brand magic happens. It's your brand tab. This is exclusive to Canva for Work. So here, you or your professional designer can create templates for common projects that you do often, things like presentations, or if you do a lot of Instagram posts, flyers, you know, whatever you need, you can make a template for it. Then you and other members of your team, even those with no design skills, and that's an important part. So say I want to create a new design from this template. So I can choose a different image, drag and drop it over and change the copy and export a new file, just like that. And you can see the branding is the same down in the corner. I don't have to set anything else up. Um, and these templates are reusable, really easy to use. So jumping back to the brand kit up here under your brand, you can click on brand kit and no more choosing the wrong fonts, the wrong colors or old versions of the company logo. You can set all of this up right here in the brand kit. And then every time someone makes a new text box or changes the color of an element, these will be the defaults. And you can organize your brand's logos and graphics in folders and share them across projects. And speaking of sharing, you can have multiple team members with different roles administrators, template designers, for those you want to be able to edit your brand kit, or members, for those who you don't want to edit your brand kit. In your team stream up here, you can see what your team's been creating. You can like or comment on the designs or even edit or remix them. So the Your Brand features and this team stream are the obvious differences between free Canva and Canva for Work. There are some lesser known differences that might be game changers for you. With Canva for Work, for one, you can export PNG graphics with transparent backgrounds. A lot of people don't need this, but the people that need it really need it. So um, it's available in Canva for Work. And you can also upload your own fonts. So if we jump back to the Your Brand tab, we'll go to the Brand Kit, and under here, it says you can now upload your own custom fonts. And to do that, you would choose the um, headline, subhead, or body text that you want to um, have be that font. Click on the pencil and then upload a font. And you do have to confirm that you own the font and that you have the right to use it. And then there it is right there in your, um, right in your brand kit. Okay, so I saved the best for last. You can use Magic Resize to take one design and duplicate it across multiple formats in a single click. And this is awesome if you have a campaign or a promotion that you want to uh, put out across multiple channels. You can instantly create optimized versions that match across all without having to recreate them every time like you would in the free version of Canva. So let me show you how to do that. I've got this Instagram post open here. So I go up to File choose Magic Resize, and all of these different formats are available to me. So I'm going to turn this one into a Pinterest graphic, uh, social media 800 by 800, and a Twitter post. And you just press Abracadabra Resize, and it creates three new documents opening in three new windows. 
Twitter post, social media, and Pinterest graphic. And some of these may need a little bit of tweaking to, um, to make the sizing and everything right where you want it to be. But you are 99% there, and it's super, super fast and super helpful. So bottom line, if you can benefit by having a standard brand kit, teams with different permission levels, the ability to up your, upload your own fonts, and the magical time saver, magic resize, then you need Canva for work. If those features are just kind of luxuries that you don't think you'd really use, you can stick with the free version of Canva and be perfectly happy. Thanks for watching, and I hope I've cleared up any confusion between free Canva and Canva for Work, and you're ready to go look awesome on the web, no matter which program you use. Bye for now.